Hey there, Elon kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, Peppa's Family. Peppa Pig's family loves different things. Have some tea dollies. Peppa loves her doll's house. George loves Mr. Dinosaur. Roar, dinosaur! Mommy Pig loves her computer. Tap, tap, tap. Daddy Pig loves his car. Let's go for a drive. Granny Pig loves her parrot. Pretty Polly. Grandpa Pig loves his wheelbarrow. Time to dig up the carrots. Peppa and Grandpa Pig love making vegetables grow. Hey there, read along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, My Daddy. My name is Peppa, and this book is all about my daddy. He is the best daddy in the whole wide world and the funniest. My daddy has an extremely serious job. But I don't think he is very serious at all. My daddy reads about very important matters. But I know that bedtime stories are his favorite. My daddy loves taking us on trips to the beach. Especially when I bury him in the sand. My daddy is always extremely helpful and very, very brave. But sometimes I think he's just a teeny tiny bit clumsy. My daddy is very good at planning household jobs. But he doesn't seem to be that good at doing them. My daddy says he likes to keep in shape all the time. But his favorite exercise is lifting the remote control. My daddy says he loves his little red car so very, very much. But I know he loves us more than anything in the whole wide world. Hey there, long kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called Peppa Pig, My Granny. My name is Peppa, and this book is all about my granny. She is the best granny in the whole wide world. And she smells lovely too. My granny is an amazing babysitter. If we aren't feeling sleepy, she lets us play games. When she goes out, my granny always wears her favorite hat. Even when she's splashing in muddy puddles. My granny likes to fill her garden with nice plastic things. But my grandpa isn't quite so keen. My granny loves talking to her pet parrot, Polly. Squawk, squawk. Even when she grunts like a noisy little piggy. Oink. My granny takes us on all sorts of days out. We like Pirate Island best. Sleepover at my granny's house are lots of fun. Every morning, her chickens lay eggs for our breakfast. My granny is a brilliant cook. She always bakes enough for everyone. Hey there, eat along kids. Welcome back to another amazing adventure. Today's story is called, I Love You, Mummy Pig. It was very early in the morning, and Peppa and George had woken up Daddy Pig and dragged him to the kitchen. We want to make Mommy a surprise breakfast, said Peppa excitedly. 
Her, yawn, Daddy Pig. Well, I am an expert at making pancakes. Yippee! Cheered Peppa. Mummy loves pancakes. Upstairs, Mummy Pig was in bed. She could hear lots of noise. Bang! Crash! He he he! Oops! Mummy! Shouted Peppa. We need you, Mummy. Mummy Pig got out of bed and went downstairs. We're making you a surprise breakfast, Mummy. Explained Peppa, but it went a bit wrong. Surprise! Mumbled Daddy Pig. How lovely! Said Mummy Pig, smiling. Why don't you tidy up the mess? Said Mummy Pig, and I'll finish the breakfast. Mummy Pig tossed the pancakes high up into the air and straight onto everyone's plate. Wow, Mummy! Peppa and George cheered. You're amazing, and these are delicious. Added Daddy Pig. After breakfast. Peppa whispered to Daddy Pig, "Let's take Mummy to the beach." Great idea, Peppa whispered. Daddy Pig, it is her favorite. Mummy cried. Peppa, we're taking you on a surprise trip. How lovely! Replied Mummy Pig. I'll just get my things. Mummy packed her bag. Then everyone hopped in the car. Let's go! Cheered Peppa. Oh, how lovely! Said Mummy Pig, stepping out of the car. The beach is in snow. Oh, sighed Peppa. It's very cold. Not to worry, said Mummy Pig. She pulled out nice warm clothes for everyone, and then a table and some chairs and lots of toys. Thank you, Mummy, said Peppa. Peppa built a snow castle while George and Daddy Pig played catch. You relax, Mummy," said Daddy Pig. "George, catch!" The ball flew through the air and was about to land on Peppa's snow castle. "Mummy!" shouted Peppa. "We need you, Mummy!" Mummy Pig jumped up and caught the ball just in time. Ooh! Wow, Mummy! Gasped Peppa. You're brilliant. How about we have a nice lunch? Suggested Daddy Pig, getting the picnic things out. But just as everyone was about to eat, there was a great gust of wind. Whoosh! The food was whipped off the table and up into the air. Mummy. Cried Peppa, "We need you, Mummy." Mummy Pig grabbed the umbrella and used it to catch all the picnic food. Wow, Mummy! Gasped Peppa, "You're so clever." Let's throw snowballs into the sea," said Peppa, after they had eaten. So Daddy Pig, Peppa, and George headed off to the sea. While Mummy Pig read her book, Daddy Pig and Peppa had lots of fun. But when it was George's turn, he accidentally threw Mister Dinosaur into the sea instead. Wah! Sobbed George, watching his dinosaur float away. Mummy cried, "Peppa, we need you, Mummy." Mummy Pig ran towards the water's edge. She saw Mr. Dinosaur pulled off her coat and dived into the cold sea to get him. Ooh! She gasped. It is a little chilly. She swam over to Mr. Dinosaur, then picked him up and swam quickly back to shore. Dinosaur, grrr. Growled George happily. "Wow, Mummy," said Peppa. "You're so brave." Peppa, George, and Daddy Pig dried Mummy Pig with towels 
and soon she was nice and warm. I think it's time to head home, said Daddy Pig. Good idea, agreed Mummy Pig, packing up their things. Goodbye, Snowy Beach, sang Peppa all the way home. After dinner, Mummy and Daddy Pig helped Peppa and George get ready for bed. Then they tucked them in with a story. Good night, Peppa. Good night, George, said Mummy Pig. Good night, bestest mummy in the whole world, giggled Peppa. Mummy and Daddy Pig headed downstairs, but just as they sat down, they heard Peppa shout, Mummy, we need you, Mummy. So Mummy Pig went back upstairs. Yes, Peppa, I love you, Mummy, said Peppa, giving Mummy Pig a great big hug. Wuh-woo, Mummy, said George, and he gave her a great big hug, too. I love you both, said Mummy Pig, very much. Now, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. This is for you, said Daddy Pig, giving Mummy Pig a present. Mummy Pig opened it to find a great big bar of chocolate inside. Ooh, thank you, she said, delighted. Then she unwrapped the bar and saw that someone had already had a little nibble. Daddy Pig, she said, smiling. Daddy Pig looked very guilty and went bright red. I love you, Mummy Pig. The end. Thanks for listening, Read Along Kids. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more great read-along fun. Until next time, bye-bye.